When you take the uniform off, you're still an African-American. The reflection of one commander in the Los Angeles police after weeks of protests following the death of George Floyd. The LAPD has, over the decades, become synonymous with police brutality towards the black community, but now wants to become a beacon instead. Now, since George Floyd's death, calls for US police to change their behavior have multiplied. At least 88 African Americans have been shot dead by the police this year. The House of Representatives is expected to debate police reform later this week, and Donald Trump has added his voice to calls for reform, although he said the aim should be only to encourage police good behavior. Our US correspondent Greg Milam went on patrol in LA. In the long history of tension between police and the black community, the neighborhood of Watts holds a significant place. The riots of 1965 were born out of a confrontation between a white police officer and a black motorist. No justice, no peace. The racial tensions of Los Angeles would boil over again 27 years later. They remain historical markers of inequality and injustice. 66, by George 66, are you clear? What's today is gang territory. This is Jordan Downs. This is territory claimed by the Grape Street Crips. But an LAPD team here is trying to lower the tension, build trust. What's called a community safety partnership is breaking down some age-old barriers. We are making massive improvements. I think the narrative right now is that we're only looking at a very negative side of police work. We're all in this together, and it only gets better if we all work together. I think what happened in Minneapolis, everybody knows, was beyond inappropriate and evil. That's not a reflection of law enforcement. For many in the community, it's working. The police come through, you know, they do their job, they see somebody doing something that ain't right, of course they're going to stop them. Jesse's less hopeful about policing nationwide. I don't think it's going to get no better, not no time soon, you know, unless something drastic was to happen where they, they change their whole policy, you know, on how dealing with people, you know. But I don't, I don't see that happening. No, I don't see it happening. Because no, there's always some bad apples in the bunch, you know. Like every police department, the LAPD's been changed by the killing of George Floyd. Chokeholds are temporarily banned pending a review and de-escalation tactics they've used here for years are now the talk of the country. Do you think change has to come as a result of what we've seen? Clearly, um, as it relates to should officers uh, be involved in situations where they're abusing their power or things of that nature? Absolutely. Good officers cannot stand officers that are not doing their job the right way. The unit's success stories in Watts are those like Marilyn Gonzalez. Police have helped get her a college scholarship to pursue her boxing career. This is a long road, though. In my own relationship, even with the officers who mentor here, like we've been working together for the last two years, and it's a great relationship. When I'm outside on my own, that relationship doesn't carry over. An officer who pulls me over or engages me, you know, outside of this community doesn't know me, um, and so. The relation, it's, it's a dual existence and balancing that is, is, I think, the black tax. Like, that's what we've had to do for quite a long time. What, it, what occurred over in Minneapolis, it, it, you, you're talking eight minutes and 46 seconds. Um, I had to explain that to my kids, and it impacted me deeply. And now I got to come on, come to work, put the same uniform on, and be professional. And so that's the hard part about being a you know, person of color. And when you take the uniform off, still. <laughs> an African-American, but in all reality, we need more people that reflect the community that we're serving. Here, that starts with building relationships. America is searching for answers. This, they say, can be a step in the right direction. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.